So let's talk about a whole video I recorded and was ready to upload it, but I had to delete it because there was music playing in the background. And I do not want these YouTube streets shutting me down because I was playing Frankie Beverly featuring Maze. So let's do this. So again. what's up guys? Um, yes, I know that my hair, I look like somebody from somebody's karate kid, but that's because I'm laying my edges down. My dog, you'll hear him in a few minutes. I was watching TV. I just got a lot going on. Um, but uh, I just wanted to hop on here and maybe do a little bit of hot takes and some of my favorite shoes, all right? Um, like I said, by all means, I always tell everybody, pray about me first because I don't want you guys to take my advice as gold. Talk to God first. Always talk to God first. Always talk to God first. But here goes. So, hot take or maybe not so popular opinion number one, your body is never going to function well off of overconsumption. Okay. Um, your body functions well when things are at a baseline level or a manageable level, or when maybe you're doing a lot of one thing and you're trying to support it to do another. Um, that's a little bit of a concept of metabolism and bioenergetics, right? There's going to be certain nutrients that your body needs to, can, to carry out the entire metabolic process, right? And so overconsumption of carbs, yeah, that's not good. Overconsumption of proteins, yeah, that's not good. Overconsumption of fats, that's not good either. I mean, there's overconsumption of water, okay? That's not good either. Um, your body is always going to use what it has to be able to restore and replace and just kind of carry out a homeostasis-like function, okay? Now, I'm not saying don't get a cookie or whatever the case may be, and I'm not saying punish yourself because you had a cookie and you worked out. Not saying that at all, but I'm saying just be mindful. Yes, yeah, okay to have a cookie or two, maybe even three or four, but don't eat the whole box. I like insomniac cookies. Um, I am guilty of having six and 12 out of a whole box, um, but I don't make myself feel bad because maybe I didn't do a workout or maybe I didn't do enough. Um, but just so you know, your body is always going to operate when it's going to, it's going to operate when it's being pushed. Okay. Um, and like I said, that's just the concept of metabolism and bioenergetics. So I don't want people to beat yourself up with trying to find the right nutrition and blah, 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 blah. If I were to make a recommendation about who you need to go to for um, proper nutrients and a proper diet, two people, okay, two people outside of your primary care physician, maybe. Uh, first one, dietitian. Dietitian does have the clinical training to basically understand um, bioenergetics and metabolism um, at a very deep level. Um, second person, maybe an exercise physiologist, someone who's done research, um, someone who has been in the lab uh, and understand the basic functions of what happens uh, when physical activity is happening. They have a really good understanding of how um, your diet can work for you um, to basically not only to benefit you for physical activity, but benefit you for daily life. First favorite shoe. Okay, let's talk about them. I absolutely love these. You're kind of big. Your girl wears a size 10. Um, the thing about Nike though, okay, the thing about Nike is that if you have a little bit of a wider foot, one foot is wider than the other. Say hello to my doggie. Um, I have one, my left foot is wider than the other. Um, that's because, yeah, your girl got a bunion. Um, but because of that, I went to a podiatrist. And a podiatrist, actually, almost every podiatrist absolutely hates Nikes because it is a narrow shoe. They have a narrow toe box and they are designed for people with narrow feet. Okay. Um, so, Every podiatrist I've talked to, every podiatrist I've maybe read some information on, they absolutely hate these. But they did, my podiatrist told me out here in Lexington, did tell me that if you feel like you have to wear Nikes, if you absolutely positively feel like you have to wear them, size up. Uh, and you know, you can go up a half size, you can go a whole size, depends on how much your foot spreads. But if you feel like you have to wear a pair of Nikes, size up. So these are a size, 11 in women 
I ain't gonna lie to y'all. These things are super comfortable and they fit perfectly. They fit perfectly. Um, that's because I just, you know, I like Nikes like most of us do. Um, but I am aware to always size up. Um, I've never been bothered having a big foot as a female. Um, it's never bothered me. Um, I like to always make jokes about it. Um, but it's just, it's never bothered me. I've always embraced it. I've had, a, I've been wearing a size 10 since I was 11. <laughs> so I just, it's, I've always just, uh, I've always just embraced it. But another hot take, okay? Um, not, another unpopular opinion. If you want a Stanley Cup, okay? Don't let nobody shame you in buying a Stanley Cup. Taco? He's getting ready to chew up the carpet. He was about to get in trouble. Um, but don't let nobody shame you into buying you a Stanley Cup. I like my Stanley Cup, okay? And the reason why I say that, I like my Stanley Cup because for me personally, I could sit water all day at my office at while I'm working and be totally fine. No, go sit over here because you're in trouble. Because you're about to tear up the carpet. Go sit over here. Um, but if you, but if you also feel like you can get the job done with a, a Walmart bottle, do that. Okay. Like don't let anybody shame you into anything that you've purchased and you're making a uh, perfectly good use of it. This thing gets a uh, heavy use because, um, yeah, I, I just, because it helps me stay hydrated. Um, I do try my best to push a lot of water, um, and that's another function of metabolism that is needed. Um, of course, there's always, when I think of metabolism, there's always a waste byproduct, um, <clears throat> and, and you're being able to fill um, your, your, your cells inside and out with uh, the proper fluid, mostly water, um, that helps to flush out kind of those waste byproducts that happen in metabolism, right? So it just consider it like, I don't know, like shedding, right? Um, your skin is going to, everybody sheds, okay? I don't know what everybody thinks that they don't do. Everybody sheds, okay? You, you lose skin, just check your baseboards. Check your baseboards. That'll tell on you, okay? Um, but we shed hair, we share skin. It's, uh, that's really what dust is. It's just skin and hair, okay? So, um, but that's your body's way of getting rid of something that it has no use for. It's waste, right? And so being able to stay hydrated helps the metabolic process to be able to push out the the byproduct of the metabolic process. Um, and so we have to stay hydrated because your metabolism is always pushing, it's always working, okay? No matter what. Another favorite shoe. Remember we talked about Nikes, sizing up. Definitely got to size up. This is another favorite shoe, my 270s. Um, these are actually hard to find in my size. Um, like I said, I size up. These are size 10 and a half. I can't get the job done with 10 and a half. Um, but it just depends on the shoe because these shoes are a little bit tighter, but these are crazy comfortable. Um, but um yeah with the 270s i absolutely love these so comfortable um <clears throat> which is a shock because some 270s are not it um but i just i think i may have found like but 10 and a half is usually a good sweet spot um i do wear a really thin sock um with when i'm at an 11 i can wear a you know a thicker sock but Oh, 10 and a half it's still comfortable but just need to wear a thin sock um because you know try to avoid the rubbing okay um back to meta metabolism and bioenergetics right body's always going to operate in homeostasis it's always going to fight to be restored at a baseline level think of the term home okay um what is a solid home space for your body to feel like it's regenerating it's getting a good amount of rest um, so rest is needed. Like you have to rest. And I know that a lot of, uh, and that's not even just sleep. That's just in general. If you have a lazy day, have a lazy day. Okay. But, but when we think about the Bible, we don't want to be like absolutely positively. I take that back. Father, forgive me. Um, let's have a, a restful day. Let me not say lazy. Let's say a restful day, okay, where you're just taking some time to restore, clean up your space, which is kind of what I'm doing. It's a little disheveled in the background. Um, 
I do have other things that I have to do today um, and tomorrow, but uh, just having the ability to, you know, make yourself unavailable for some things is a good thing. Um, and your body will thank you for it. Another favorite shoe. Ooh. I forgot about these. This is these New Balances. Whew. New Balances are crazy comfortable. Crazy comfortable. Um, I don't forgot the name of it. Lord have mercy. Do, 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 do. Five, seven, four zeros. New Balances. Oh my gosh. Crazy comfortable shoe. Um, I like shoes. Um, thing about me with shoes is I, as I mentioned, I wear a size 10 and usually a size 10 is the first size that goes fast. Um, and talking to a lot of people who are into shoes like I am, um, there's a guy here in Lexington who is actually the top selling shoe salesman at a particular store. I think one year he's made a million dollars in shoe sales, um, and shoe sales commission, um, but yeah, he's he's really good at what he does. And actually, when I do want to go buy a shoe, I actually only just go to him. Like, because he'll gas you up. So, like, he'll gas you up. And he's done that to me. He's gassed me up out of $300 in shoes. So, um, but, you know, because he's an expert, you know, he said size 10 is actually a popular size. Um, he said, and, but because it is a popular size, it does go fast. He said, it's not that they don't make enough because the size doesn't exist. They have to make a lot because that size is popular. So I was like, wow, didn't know size 10 was popular. So, um, but speaking on the topic of shoes, shoes are super important to me. Comfort is important to me. Um, because I think about the, the whole, uh, kinetic chain and walking, like you just don't want an uncomfortable shoe. <laughs> like, um, and that's the same thing the like with metabolism and bioenergetics, right? Um, it's always gonna respond to what's going on with the body. So maybe you're wearing a shoe that is putting some pain and some hurt into your feet or whatever the case may be. Your metabol metabolism is gonna respond in such a way to be able to even support that injury. So um, it is going to, on a cellular level, okay, um, your body's going to respond to that. Oh, something is in pain. So proper metabolic form, uh, your body is going to send out the appropriate signals and the appropriate hormones um, and the appropriate um, red and white blood cells to be able to support that injury, okay? And in response, it's going to tell you like your body is going to respond hormonally, say, ouch, this hurts, Right. Um, and so it's either you adopt or you keep on going, you keep on pushing. And then when you are constantly wearing that painful shoe over and over and over again, your body's going to adapt to it. Okay. Um, and in that, if you constantly wearing these tight shoes and tearing up your feet and that type of thing, you're going to pull out the corns, you're going to pull out the bunions, you're going to, you're just going to get bad feet. Um, but that is a concept of overconsumption, Right. And so, like, like I may have mentioned before, your body doesn't do well when it's in overconsumption mode, okay? Even that, that concept is even biblical when we talk about gluttony, okay? Um, God is so good that he knew <laughs> on a cellular level that there were some things that is just yeah you shouldn't be over consuming that and that is the concept of gluttony just feeling like you just gotta take it all in right and you know and it's and when i when i talk about gluttony i don't want you to think food or anything like that it could be i mean food yeah that's the main one but things and just over consuming and what a better place to talk about shoes right <laughs> so i'm hoping that just i look back at this video and realize that it's time to do spring cleaning because there's just some stuff i just don't need um but I like shoes. I like comfortable shoes. Um, I am a shoe individual, um, but I am going to get rid of some of this stuff too. So as we talk about gluttony, thank you, Holy Spirit. So just got to be mindful of just over consumption of something. But there's one more shoe that I want to shout out because um, today Kentucky State plays Central State, two rival schools in the area in the Ohio Valley. Um, let's see. One of those. Those. Aha. These. 
such a fresh shoe. I like this. However, there's snow on the ground and I'm not gonna wear this because there's white and I already don't like a white shoe. It's a nurse's shoe, they get dirty easily, but I'm like that with anything white. I don't, white just pulls, to me, it, it just pulls dirt and not, uh, all this stuff. Yeah, it looks clean, but whew, I just, uh, I, I don't like it. So, but these are um, perfect Kentucky State colored shoes. These are your dunks um, on the low side, low dunks. Um, and I, the color, and they're comfortable. Like, these things are solid. My dog wants to be in the video, clearly. Um, but uh, let's talk about a little bit more bioenergetics. And um, like I said in a previous video, some hot takes. I know everybody is an expert in hormonal management, um, but I really firmly believe that just having a balanced diet, getting some good rest, staying hydrated, um, and what I mean by rest, not only sleeping, but just, you know, having some downtime um, or having a little bit more downtime and not feel like that you have to be obligated to do something or go somewhere. Um, now, if you do have places to th do and things to do, then that's cool. But um, I just think that um, with the hormones, I think that that can be managed by getting those things in place. But also, you know, asking yourself like, you know, hey, what is safe for my body, right? And just really getting to know your body. For example, I think what's safe for my body is that I don't use traditional deodorant anymore. And I'm actually working on how to transition out of traditional or deodorant completely. Um, I actually don't really use a lot of, of the mainstream lotions um and i said this in another video um i know it's a popular lotion that everybody is drawn to it stinks okay it really does stink it smells like raid okay it's in the little purple thing from sephora i can't think of the name of it probably a good idea that i don't say it um but it smells like raid it stinks okay um the smell is mid and so but i'm gonna still put it on because i spent money on it but um I just want, for me personally, I just didn't like how my skin felt. My skin was always dry with putting on certain lotions in certain places. I know everybody's trying to go to one store for all these lotions and scents, which is cool, um, but it just does not do well on my skin. It actually dries my skin out really, really badly. Um, but I do like uh, La Occitane um, in their lotions and their body creams. Um, I do like that, um, and that seems to do well with my skin. Um, Clinique tends, tends, tends to do well with my skin, and Kiehl's uh, tends to do really well with my skin. Um, but if I don't have any of those things on me, then it's Vaseline and Eucerin <laughs> because it like all that other stuff just dries my skin out. Um, but essentially, that's where I'm at. You know, I just want something a little bit more cleaner on my skin. Um, you know, a little bit more, you know, less dye, less heavy scents on my body um, because I just feel like that it just dries all that out. Um, but um, same thing with laundry detergent. Um, I have transitioned out of, I used to use Arm & Hammer for a while, but I believe it was the beginning of last year where I fully transitioned away from Arm & Hammer, maybe somewhere, probably April, May, somewhere in that range from January to April, somewhere where I fully trans out, transitioned out of Arm & Hammer, but I transitioned out of like the Tide and the Gain years before then, and now I'm fully transitioned out. Um, I use something called Pronounce. Um, I used to use something out of Walmart, but I like Pronounce. Um, and if Pronounce ever stop making detergent, then I'm just gonna go to good old fashioned borax and um, cleaning vinegar. Um, because, um, yeah, those detergents, same thing, it's drying my skin out. Um, and then even with the dryer sheets, I don't use dryer sheets, I use the uh, dryer balls and lavender essential oil. Um, to bring about a nice fresh smell and it gets rid of all of the um, 
the wrinkles and that type of thing. But it's all about knowing what works for your body. By all means, um, you know, you can gather information and say, you know, I've been experiencing that. Let me look deeper into that. Um, but I don't want people to... Um, like, I want people to use discernment and say, like, man, something is up with me taking all these supplements. Like, you know, just ask yourself, do I really need all these supplements? Um, ask yourself, like, you know, can I do another alternative to something? Or um, if you do take a lot of supplements, think about your kidney health, too. Like, you know, because your kidneys, they're the main filters of everything that you consume. And, you know, just being mindful of the amount of um vitamins you're taking in how is your kidney able to filter all that out so just kind of just be mindful of your kidney health um but like i said before your body doesn't do well in overconsumption. <laughs> it's just not metabolic metabolically designed um and you know just to kind of be mindful of the of of the whole sum total of how the body uses nutrients and and certain supplements um, you know, just have a full blood panel. Um, just go to your physician or you can go to, I know that a full blood panel can come from a holistic doctor. Um, they'll run everything that you need to know about what's going on with your body. And I like that. So, um, but yeah, those are just some hot takes that I have. Um, like I said, my room is a little disheveled and I got to get ready to go to the basketball game. Um, so these glasses won't stay on and this headband definitely not staying on. I'm just keeping it down so my edges can lay down. So, um, but I hope you found this video maybe a little bit helpful. Um, like I said, always talk to God first before you take any of my advice, but always talk to God because he is the one with the answer. Trust God. Have a good day.